Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Munishka here with us who recently got placed at Now and Me as an off-campus placement and she is here to share her interview experience with us. So let's go and talk to Munishka and get to know her experience. So Now and Me is a very good company, it's a startup and let's get to know more from Munishka. So, hi Munishka, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on your channel. I am very pleased to be here. So, would you like to introduce yourself first? Sure. I am Manishka Vajabhargya and I recently finished four years my VTEC at VIT Chennai in Computer Science. Apart from that, I am also doing a BSc in Data Science and Programming from IIT Madras. It's an online course. So, I've done a couple of internships in the past and projects and everything. Apart from that, I, I really love dancing and I love reading books and everything. I came across your uh, YouTube channel and I saw a few videos. It was very inspiring. I think you're doing an amazing, amazing job. Thank you so much. Thank you for saying that and thank you for introducing yourself. So you can now tell us about like the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they come to explain. Sure. Actually, I'd email my resume to them on the career's uh, email and after that, in just a day or two, I received their email back saying that my resume has been shortlisted. So, I believe that there's a resume shortlisting process that they have and after that, I'd applied for software and data roles. Okay. So, they had an opening for backend developer role and they had given me a task which I had to complete. So basically it was it was about making APIs and stuff like that and there was no timeline to it. I could take how much ever time I wanted. At the same time there was no specific tech requirement also. They asked me to use whatever I was comfortable with. Okay. So I think that, that was something that was very 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 good. Yeah. And uh, at that time I was new with backend. So I didn't have a lot of experience and I had to learn a lot of things from scratch. So I did. It took me around two weeks to finish that task. Okay. And uh, I created a few APIs and user authentication and everything. Mm -hmm. So I finished that. I uploaded it on GitHub and I shared the link with them. Okay. It took them a week to get back to me after that, mm -hmm. saying that um, my task has been approved and after that, they set up a technical interview. Okay. So that was with the technical lead. Hmm. And uh, he mostly asked me questions about the task itself, about the code that I'd written, about the libraries that I'd used, hmm. what are their purpose okay. and things like that. And he asked me a few questions in, around, in and around my experience. Hmm. And that time I was trying to shift from data to software. So he asked me about why I want to make that switch and about the projects that I worked on. After that, it was it didn't last long, it was short, like 30 minutes interview. Mm. And after that, I had two rounds with each of the founder at Now and Me. Mm. Yes, one with Bani and then with Rashti. Mm. So Now and Me is a new, quite a new startup and it's just coming up slowly. Mm. So they were more curious about why I want to join Now and Me and what my experience is going to be like so that I'm clear with what I what I can expect, things like that. So there were many culture questions, okay. but they were also short interviews, 30 minutes each. Mm. And um, I cleared both of them. Okay. So after that, it took them some time again because uh, there were a lot of candidates. So it took them a lot of time after that, like two weeks around mm. to get back to me again, mm. saying that they were keen to have me on board. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's really great. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into good companies or anything that you learned from that experience? Yes, one important thing that I've learned from my experience is that it's very important to keep giving interviews and keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Because in my previous internship, um, there was a time where uh, I think that I was very happy with my role and the company. So I. So I was not necessarily looking out for better opportunities and I feel that uh, that, is, that is the mistake that is that probably you can do especially early in your career. It's very very important to keep giving interviews so that you are sort of in practice and uh, keep challenging yourself. At the same time 
uh, it's very important to keep learning every day. I think that uh, you know in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's very easy to lose track of where we are heading, right. lose track of our time. Hmm. So I think it's very good if you can keep a check on how you're spending your time, hmm. if, if you're learning things every day, and sort of the direction in which. You're heading. It's very important to learn new things every day and keep practicing whatever you have learned. Mm. Obviously, as a software developer, DSA is very important. Mm. Technology is very important, but at the same time, the way you interact with people, right. your interpersonal skills also play in, play a great role. Mm. One thing that really helps, I feel, is talking to seniors, right. talking to people around you in the company. So when you're in an organization, it's literally like a learning ground. You can go talk to anyone, and there are a lot of things that you can learn when you talk to experienced people. So I think uh, that is something that we that is good if you keep in mind. You can learn a lot. Hmm. That's really great. Thank you so much for the suggestions and for sharing your experience. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. My pleasure.